So, uh, let's start with this one at the top. So it's pointing to this area here. What is that point right there called? No, that's, a, that's an O, it's a letter, not a number. Oh, jeez. You guys really not know what that is? Because that is extremely, yes, origin. I have that one of you knows. That's, uh, I'm not going to test you on vocabulary, though, so it's good. Okay, uh, let's look at the quadrants. So let's start here in the top right, and we'll go counterclockwise. Uh, what uh, quadrant is here at the top right? One. Which one is in the top left? Two. Two. Bottom left? Three. And so forth. Uh, so notice over here, this is pointing to this horizontal line up in here. What does that horizontal line represent? Very good. X, X, I. Well, what about this one? It's pointing to this vertical line up in here. Very good. That's the Y, X, I. Finally, it gives us this point right here. It just wants the coordinates for it. So, looks like the X is negative 4, the Y is positive 3. Bam. All right, so let's look at this point, negative 5, negative 7. Which of those is the x-coordinate? Negative 5. Negative 5. Wow, that was rough. Well, what they do is they make a town a coordinate, and uh, that's where the town is. Hey, that was... It was almost poetic. When you guys look at this, it's going to ask for domain and range. and range like this. The domain is just it's just the x values. Uh -huh. it is? The range is the y values. The thing is, is there's a very specific way that you need to write these in for the domain and range. All right? Uh, you're going to use fancy brackets. Well, let's look at the example. Fancy brackets. No, I will not accept square brackets. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> You've got to do... Look, it's all it is, it's just a W. It's just kind of fancy, right? All right. Let me, let me show you what you're going to do here. All right. No, listen, listen. I'm going to show you guys how to do this. Oh, jeez. This is just, it's two things. You got an S, and then you got a Z. Done. There it is. Fancy brackets. Now the ones on the right, okay, it's just, it's just switched. So you got the Z, and then the S. Done. Fancy brackets. Once again, fancy brackets. All right, here's a two. 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 That's an S, rather, thank you. Then a two. Bam. Fancy brackets. Well, that's the one on the left. The one on the right is a two. Or sure. Well, you could do a seven and then a three. Done. Okay. <laughs> Whatever. Well, this one would be the S. Here, this is giving us four different coordinate pairs. It says to state the domain and range as well. Uh, what we need to do is put these into a table, okay? So on this first one, what's our first point? Well, it's negative 1.5. This isn't on here. Oh, it's just an example. 3.5. So we took care of this one right up in here. Let's do this next one. So the x coordinate is 2.5. Y is negative 1.5. This next one is 3, negative 1. Just an example. The next one is negative 1.5 and negative 3.5. All right, now that we have this table, let's go ahead and graph. All right, so first one is negative 1.5 and 3.5. Do we need to label this? Negative 1.5 and 3.5.
If you do not label these on the test, then you will get it wrong. The next point, 2.5 and negative 1.5. Well, yeah. So we don't have to do any of the fractions, we just have to drop them. Alright, uh, the next point, 3, negative 1. 3, negative 1 is right here. Why do I not have to label this one? Because it's the simplest one. Okay, this is on a grid corner, so I can see that it falls on the 3 line and the negative 1 line. Bam. Negative 1.5 and negative 3.5, right here. But well, why don't you still graph it, though? I did graph it. The 3 negative 1? Oh, yeah, you did that one. All right, this is going to be kind of rough for you guys. In fact, let me go back. Okay, so this first one, let's, let's look. We got the domain. It's the domain x values or y values. It's x values. Domain is x values. Uh, but again, you need uh, fancy brackets, okay? Well, let's list the points. You got 1.5, okay? Negative 1.5, rather. Check that one. The next one is 2.5. See, see, I'm just listing these x values. Next one's 3. Now, this is negative 1.5. But guess what? Negative 1.5 is already in the list. So I don't need to do it again. If on the test you list it twice, it's wrong. Don't list it twice, okay? Uh, fancy brackets. Bam, there you go. All right, let's do the range on this one. So let's look at the Y values. I'm going to start my fancy brackets. And my first number is 3.5. <coughs> These do not have to be in order, from smallest to greatest or anything like that. Just, just list them. Next one is negative 1.5. Next one's negative 1. And the next value is negative 3.5. Wait, but you said not to list them twice. Have I listed any numbers twice in the range? No. No, I have not. Uh, relations, all, re your re all this is really telling you is that the domain is the x values, the range is the y values, okay? <clears throat> uh, one thing you'll need to know is if it's a function, then you can't have x values repeat. Uh, that may become relevant eventually, okay? It will definitely in uh, ninth grade, right? Express this relation as a table and graph, which they've done for you. State the domain and range, which they've done with splendid fancy brackets. Okay. Uh, is the x or the y the range? Y. The y is the range, x is domain, okay? See that? How awesome is that going to be on the test when we're like, state the domain and range, and you don't even have to calculate anything. Awesome. It is awesome. Thank you. <laughs> Pretty much. On this? Okay. Well, would someone like to make the table for this? Just the table. Emily, please. All right. Emily is going to make the table for us. Is it okay if I do it from least to greatest, like in that order? Okay. Just make sure they're paired. Okay. All right, Emily, thank you. Now, Emily listed this from least to greatest as far as the x values go. Did she need to do that? No, she did not, but she did some extra work, and that's great. All right? Uh, would someone like to graph this? No. All right, Hayden's going to graph it for us. Why is there a racer button? I think I did something wrong. No, you're fine. Keep going. Okay.
Yeah, I did something wrong. <laughs> I nope. No. Nope. All right, that's all right. All right, Drew will wrap it for us. Okay. That's easy enough. Um, um, wait, sorry. That was wrong. No, I was just um. Uh-oh. Why? That, how do you erase on this thingy? Oh, you're good. I can see this one. You're good. Okay. Just make the other one's bigger. Um, then one, seven. You have to label and remember if they're not on the corner. Is it a husky? Failed husky. That's on the corner. Okay. And excellent, Drew. Wow, this That's is excellent. Easy. If we'll do the domain for us, please. Are you broken? No. Mm -hmm. All right. Is this good? No. What's he missing? The fancy brackets. <laughs> Would someone like to help him out and do some fancy brackets? Me. Why do we have to do lame brackets? Because if you don't, it's minus points. All right, Olivia. Oh. We'll give him some fancy brackets. All I want is the bracket. <laughs> hey, that's very good. Wow, that was rough. Dang it, looks like a. Who cares? <laughs> Two. Three. No. Wait, why are you looking up at the board? Because I am. Seven. Is there a tattoo that can cover your face? You missed the negative two. I did it right. Grant has only three numbers in his range. How many does he need? Three. Three. See, because the two, as it turns out, repeated itself. There's a two, there's a two. Do not list them twice, otherwise minus one. Uh, make a table, it's already done. Graph ordered pairs, done. Now here's the thing is, is labeling the xi is just as easy as reading the problem. For example, and the y coordinate represents the total cost. So is there any doubt on what the y coordinate is? No. What is the y coordinate? It's Yeah, I know some of you want to say movies. But it told you y coordinate represents cost. So label it cost. Jeez. Man. What's the x-axis then? Movies. The x-coordinates represent the number of movies. Good job, Emily. Bam. Something All right. Would someone like to make the table? Oh. Put my hand down. Christian do is not going to do it. <laughs> All right. Who would like to do it? Do it. All right. Fine. Why does Emily... I need the calculator. Okay, one. Honestly, this class is, this lesson is so easy, I think I'm... Wait, do it. That's all I'm doing. You know what's funny is you... What? All right, so this is good. Uh, 
So Emily has graphed this. It looks very good. She's labeled all of her points. Yeah, there might be some of that stuff where, you know, it looks a little sloppy. But on a test, you would have a, right? I mean, no, I'm telling you. What? Tell me what that is. It's called your three. That's a three with a comma on the right side. Well, I know what it is, but. Uh, yep. He just called your work for Maybe it's a, like a Chinese three. Why don't you erase it and do it again? There we go. Oh, oh, you're fine. Then you can see it. All right. Listen, if you don't label your points here, you're going to miss the points. So just understand that, okay? Okay, so this is the domain and range. It's very good. All you're doing is listing the X and Y values after you graph them.